So today we're going to talk about Google Local SEO and why it's so important for any business, particularly if you have a bricks and mortar location or if you serve customers within your local area. So before we get started, let's take a quick look at some of the terminology that we're going to be using throughout this course. The first one is what are keywords? Keywords are essentially the words that people use in order to find your products or your services. For example, if you sold red shoes, they would look for red shoes. Next up, we've got rankings. And simply put, rankings are the position that you're listed in Google. So if you have a top ranking, you might be in first place or second place. A low ranking might be on page two or on page three. And that leads us straight into keyword difficulty. Your rankings will be determined by a number of different things, including how competitive a keyword is. And the more difficult a keyword is to rank for means, simply put, there's more competition out there that has a far better chance than you do of getting a high ranking. And there's a number of different factors that influence this which we will go into throughout this course so that you become the competition. Next up, we have the map pack. I'm going to be talking about this quite extensively throughout this course. Essentially, this is the three businesses that are listed at the top of Google Local and are shown on the first page of Google, actually above all the other results. A critical component in order to get to the top of the map pack is citations. Now, citations are something that we'll be getting into later on in the course. But as a general overview, this is essentially a mention of your business, including information such as your telephone number and address. Moving on from citations, we have what are called NAP citations, N-A-P, and that means name, address, and phone number. It's as simple as that. Google My Business is a way for you to list your business on Google so that you can be found on Google Maps. Google Maps is one of Google's products that is a map, but more importantly, businesses can be listed on the map, meaning that if I'm searching for plumber, the map will pop up on Google search results and it will come up with three of the top ranking plumbers. If there's anything else that isn't fully explained that pops up throughout this course, then take a moment to pause and then head over to Google. And with that, let's press on with the rest of the course. I'm going to show you how to rank for the three pack, how to build NAP citations, how to optimize your Google My Business profile and lots more. So let's get started. In this module, we'll cover the basics of local SEO. I'm not going to throw a bunch of random stats at you. But I do want to briefly show you a few fascinating statistics to highlight just how huge SEO is for local businesses. In fact, 46% of all searches in Google have local intent. 29% of all Google SERPs contain a local pack in the results. 76% of consumers that search for something local on their phone visit a store that day. So it's clear that local searches are very, very important because they make up such a huge chunk of the SEO world. And if you can get your local business to the top of those rankings, then there's a good chance that you're going to have people walking through your door or becoming a lead by giving you a call. So how does local SEO work? At high level, local SEO works like normal Google searches. When someone does a search, Google scans through its index to provide the best results for the person's query. What makes local SEO unique is that Google uses a different set of ranking factors to rank the local search results. In fact, local SEO is a set of unique ranking signals, including the location that the person is searching from, NAP citations, presence of Google My Business listings, keywords used in Google My Business profile, sentiment of online reviews, keywords used in an online review, number of check-ins at that location, number of shares on social media, Google Maps star ratings for that business. Module two is all about the map pack. In this module, you'll learn how Google's local map pack works, how to track your map pack rankings, 
helpful local SEO tools, how to rank in Google Organic for local keywords. So if you want to get a crash course in the map pack, you'll really enjoy this module. The map pack, also known as the local pack, is a set of three business results with a map of their location pulled from Google Maps. For example, if we search for massage therapist, you'll see three businesses that were within the vicinity of where I am. You also notice that this map pack is at the very top of the search results and above all questions and also the organic results. So later in this course, I'll show you how Google ranks businesses in the map pack. But for now, just keep in mind that the map pack has its own algorithm with its own set of rules. Sure, some ranking factors like backlinks can help you rank in local and traditional organic results, but others like NAPs are pretty much only important for ranking in the map pack. One thing I should point out though, is that Google doesn't only show local results for keywords that contain a specific city or state. If Google thinks that your search needs a set of local results, they'll show it to you even if the keyword isn't obviously local. For example, when I search for gardener, Google gave me the map pack. This is important to keep in mind as you do keyword research for your local business. Yes, you want to optimize for store plus city keywords or business plus city keywords, but in many cases, the generic store keyword without a location gets more search volume than the store in the city version. For example, massage therapist in Glasgow. So with that out of the way, let's see how we can track your local SEO rankings. One of the first steps to any local SEO campaign is to benchmark where you are at. Specifically, you want to see where you rank in the map pack and track your map pack rankings over time. Pretty much every rank tracker on the planet has map pack tracking. The issue is that with local SEO, where you're located while you're performing the search is huge. For example, let's say someone's searching for a coffee shop in Gifnick. Those results are going to be super tailored to where that person is standing. In fact, the same search performed just a few streets away can bring up a completely different set of map pack results, or sometimes it can be the same results in a different order. If you only track your local rankings from a single location, you're only seeing a small sample of where you actually rank for in the real world which is why you want to get really granular with your local rankings. That way you can see where you rank from across your entire city or local area. One of the many tools that you can use is called Local Falcon, but there's many others and they pretty much do the same thing. So to use the tool, you'll need Google My Business Profile already set up. Then you choose a keyword that you want to check your rankings for. Finally, choose how specific or broad you want your rank tracking to be. For example, here's a five mile rank tracking radius. After the tool does its thing, as you can see, you get a nice interactive map that shows you where you rank in lots of different spots throughout the city. That said, you don't want to completely ignore the traditional local results. But don't let that fool you into thinking that it's map pack or nothing. Because most local searches have an insanely strong commercial intent. It's totally worth ranking for local SERPs too. And unlike map pack results, the local results are basically the same for any Google SERP. So to optimize your site for local organic rankings, you want to use your keywords in your title tag in your URL and all traditional on-page SEO stuff. Actually, the only unique thing about local organic results is how to track them. Remember, store plus city only makes up a fraction of all local results. So in addition to, for example, Boston Barber, you also want to track your rankings for keywords like Barber and Barber Near Me. For example, if you wanted to track rankings for Barber Near Me for people searching in Boston, you just need to specify the location in your rank tracking tool of choice. And if you want to get a better idea of where you rank around town, you can track your rankings for the same keyword across lots of different spots.